that she could get an education. And it made her mom really sad because she has almost no contact with her daughter. Um, the everyday things that go on in her daughter's life, she just doesn't really get a chance to hear about. She doesn't, grandma doesn't have a cell phone, doesn't communicate a lot. And life is kind of going by. She's seen her mom four times in her whole life. She's six now. And um, when she does see her, it's kind of awkward. And they just, they don't really have a relationship at all. There's just nothing there. Um, and there's nothing that's growing over time. So. All right, so Jen's story is kind of an extreme example of this. But uh, as we were thinking about the uh, mm -hmm. lifetime of the typical trans child, we realized that, um, you know, there, there, there's a lot to, anyways, the, their experience from their parents are diverging like never before. There's a 21st century industrial revolution going on in China. People are migrating all over the place. School has become more important. Kids are getting sent off to school away from their parents. So as, as time goes on, the, the experiences that parents and children share together, you know, from the moment of birth till perhaps when you go off to college or become their own adults, just deteriorates. But during the same time, um, the child becomes more sophisticated. So to understand the child, you need to share more together. Um, and this framework kind of led us to an investigation of what this lack of context might mean in Chinese culture. So we did some reading, and we learned um, that there are three major differences that could affect a communications company uh, between the US and China. And these three differences are um, concept of self and high context communication and, and notions of success. Um, so in the, concept, in the concept of self, one of the reasons like, um, is communication is so important is that you aren't actually an individual that is stable over a long period of time in China with characteristics that define, define you. You're a sum of all the relationships that, that you're a part of, and as those relationships change, you change. Um, in terms of high context communication, like we talked about in the framework before, uh, meaning isn't communicated through words a lot of the time in China. It's the shared experiences, it's the like being physically together um, that enables you to transmit meaning. And then um, finally, this, there's this notion of success, like Western success, upward mobility, you know, I want to get rich, go to college, be part of this industrial dream. There's also this idea of success with social harmony. Social harmony, like, to be successful, you need to have harmonious relationships. And that, you know, is related to having relationships predicated on high context. It's also related to your idea of a self that is composed of many different relationships. Um, and so what this led us to think about was that China, you know, TCL is employing communications models in China that are based on, you know, like they're developed in the West. Like this dude over in Massachusetts developed a telephone. And it's, he, he experienced like his individual self and the way he talked to others and his place in the world in a very different way than people in China do. But those same technologies are being adopted by Chinese people and we're not going to get to it now, but they're working around this lack of communication. So, so from this framework, we developed so TCL needs to provide a refuge for high context relationships that are right now stuck in an increasingly low context world in China. Um, TCL's communication products need to be receiver oriented. They need to not put the burden on the receiver to, or on the on the Send. on the sender to um, decide how their message is going to be interpreted, make sure that it's going to be successful. They need to take that burden off of the sender. Um, TCL needs to help its customers achieve. And that's characterized by social harmony in China. Um, and a little bit more detail on that. Um, first, TCL, TCL can do that by, by providing its users uh, a means of navigating and managing their relationships in a way that's easy and intuitive for them to do. Um, and then second, TCL can provide its users with low risk avenues for experimentation. So they can sort of, um, they can play, they can try things out, they can see what's successful and what's not without losing face in real life. And then um, the interface designs need to be flexible. TCL can't predict how users are going to use these interfaces. No one can. No one in any country can. But particularly in China, where users are incredibly inventive and creative. Um, and TCL needs to privilege information that's unique to its applications. And with that. So um, we have like a three-part solution for TCL. One is an operating system. Another is an, a set of industrial design. Principles and, and the next is a, a brand. I'll start with talking about the operating system. We call it a discovery social operating system. A social means that it combines the uh, 
ever-present nature of an operating system with a lot of the aspects of a social network, in this case, providing a home for high complex relationships. Uh, the social operating system has three main components. One is Google, Google's Android platform, and that's just gonna take care of like texting, calling, the traditional like phone, like the grunt work of actually developing this thing has already been done, so we're just gonna tap into that. The two things that TCL has to make are the home for high context relationships. We imagine that as something we call the water, like a waterfall interface. It's a way to um, basically capture things about your life, post them almost, it's like a virtual bulletin board. You, you, you're able to pin stuff to a board that you might be able to share with, let's say your mom, or I might share with Caroline, and instead of actually worrying about sending Caroline a message, I would just post something to the board. And removing that agency of like worrying about how Caroline is going to interpret this is kind of the essential part of, or, or one of the essential parts of giving us high context relationships. Um, and the last part that TCL needs to worry about is something that we like to call the face lab. The face lab is any, num any number of um, interactions designed to, sorry, um, experiment within the anonymous masses in order to act appropriately in your interview. So when you, know, you look at these other presentations or even our own user stories and you hear about people like going to the BBS or going to, um, uh, you know, posting to people who, who will never meet in their life, they're, they're calibrating their actions. And they're calibrating their actions so that when they return to the group of people that they interact with on a daily basis, they don't mess up. They don't lose respect and face and like, you know, there's a lot of stress around maintaining face in relationships that we're trying to circumvent by providing this experiment for um, So in addition to, okay, So um, in addition to, uh, um, this idea of an operating system, we come up with a general design for a phone. Uh, the phone is, um, so there are a few things about it that are important. The first is that it pr pr privileges this information created by the relationship spaces. Uh, for us in particular, there are four buttons on the side here. Each of those buttons uh, has a multicolored LED underneath. And you're able to, um, like, they correspond to different relationship spaces which are color coded um, with other people. So that, like, clicking on the pink button, maybe I could be able to talk to my sister all the time. Um, and we're, we're trying very hard to get TCL to link um, the application itself with the physical design almost inextricably. So that if you were to experience this on anything but a TCL phone, it just wouldn't make sense at all. Um, one of the ways that we're doing that as well is through an iconic um, user interface on it. And we're putting a, um, a, like a touch sensitive strip on the back of the phone to allow you to navigate quickly through this like vast stretch of time, which the waterfall will eventually. So um, the, the, there's like a, a new style of navigation, which is like a back navigation. Um.